Hi guys, this is going to be a quick bonus video on one of the most effective and efficient ways to create decks of Anki cards that I have discovered and want to share with you. Now bear in mind, this method can only create basic Anki decks with flashcards that only have text on them. If you want to be able to create flashcard decks that have pictures and more of the complex types of flashcards, you're not going to be able to use this method. The first thing you're going to want to do is open spreadsheet software, either Excel or Google Sheets. You can see here I've opened a Google Sheet and I've created two columns. One that says front on the top and one that says back on the top. So that'll help you keep straight which of the columns is which for your flashcards. You're then going to fill out the fronts of your flashcards and the backs of your flashcards. So if you're going through a chapter during content review and you just want to be able to create flashcards on the go, this is really efficient because you can just type in the front of the flashcard and then type in the back of the flashcard. And it's a little bit faster than making each flashcard individually in the Anki program. So here I have a couple of flashcards typed in. We got the front of of the flashcards on the left, the back of the flashcards in the right column, and however you want to arrange that front and back. Fill out as many flashcards as you need. I used to keep a running spreadsheet going when I was doing a lot of content review. You're then going to go to File, Download, and then Download as Comma Separated Values or .csv. Save that wherever you would like to. Usually in Google Sheets, it'll automatically download it to your downloads folder. You're then going to open Anki, and you can see some of my Anki decks here. You see on the left column it says due, that's how many flashcards are due for that day. And I haven't opened Anki in several months, so you can see there's hundreds due. And then the new column is for flashcards that you haven't reviewed yet. You're going to go to the bottom of the Anki window where it says import file and click on that import file. You're going to find that Anki deck that has been saved to your downloads folder, click on it and click open. For type you're going to have that basic type. For deck you're going to pick out the deck that you would like to add to. Here I'm going to create a new deck called deck 1. You're going to leave that field that says field separated by comma alone. On the bottom is where you're going to map the columns to the front or the back. So field 1 is going to be mapped to the front already by default. Field 2 is going to be mapped to the back. Field 1 refers to the first column and field 2 refers to the second column. You're going to click import and then get the statistics on how many notes were added. Then once you go to that deck, you'll see that those flashcards have been added to Anki. So there you have it. This is a little bit more of an efficient way to keep a running list of flashcards instead of making each one individually. And I think it'll really help you out during your content review if you want to keep these running spreadsheets going and kind of batch your flashcards. Thanks for joining me. I hope this tip helps you.